Hello friends, how are you doing? I hope you all are doing well and I'm back with another video so welcome to my YouTube channel and I'm very pleased to have you all on my YouTube channel those who have subscribed and those who have liked and those who you know keep on requesting me for something important and some if any documents required I've seen most of uh, my YouTube subscriber are requesting so I'm happy and I'm I'm always there for you if you if you need any uh, any help or anything which I know which you think I can help you please do message me and do please you know subscribe like and share my channel so today's uh, very important videos and uh, today's topic is how to prepare a monthly progress report so if you this is the first time so i think uh, i have not seen anyone have uploaded such videos regarding the how to prepare a monthly progress reports in a construction for construction works and you can find you know daily side reports on a youtube videos but you do not find a monthly progress reports what do we need to input in your report and what else you can you know uh, uh, accumulate or you can collect all the data how you gonna prepare the monthly progress report and collect the data for your monthly progress report. so without any for delay let's uh, get into our topic so first of all we need to prepare a cover page in the first page cover page you need to you can prepare in this way you can write constant contractor uh, you know concept, project name contract id you can design this cover page uh, as per your you know convenience and as per your desire so it's not mandatory but uh, but it should be simple and quite effective so everyone can relate or everyone can understand and everyone can you know it will be okay so this is how you can prepare so you, know, you can progress reports you can indicate the month and in you know, below you can write you know submitted by you know contractor name construction company name and this is submitted to the office so this is the cover page then table of doc table of contacts so in table of contact what else the you know data or adding or contents you are going to you know submit into the monthly progress reports you can add the office name this is the you know which uh, departments are issued uh, projects and who is the client so this is the client office address so you can put similarly uh, project name then you can add contract uh, contract number and then this is the table of contacts so uh, first page project summary then you know contract data and status progress progress status project monitoring curve s curve and photos lastly so these are the our content which uh, in depth in the next page you will find everything in a detail so this is the table of contact then for first is summary summary in you know, overall construction the financial progress physical progress all the data so you can input so for this is uh, you can uh, is a similarly now office address office name so which uh, departments are issued a projects from the government side then project summary <clears throat> in project summary name of the project you can write in the first place uh, project name then project executing agency any ngo ing any government you know uh, departments has been involved in this project so you can write his name a sponsor agency who has sponsored this project so suppose this project has been sponsored by government of india so you can write the government of india minister of external affairs government of india contract number name of contractor which uh, uh, which contracting company is you know executing the works you can write the contractor names date of contract agreements any commencement date intended completion that you can write then the revised completion date you can write so you can you know change the date as per your required so this is quite simple and total contract value including or excluding VAT or PS you can write so this is 19 crores uh, excluding VAT and PS items then progress summary suppose progress till previous month previous month like suppose uh, actually what happens uh, in a financial progress we take the data from your IPC Monthly payment certificates, so which you know invoice has been raised from your client. So if you have uh, you know last uh, IPC monthly payment service, then you can calculate the amount of uh, you know financial progress from that bill. So you can get the financial progress from that. Suppose up the up to the uh, 12th IPC last IPC 
we had 67 percent progress during the reporting month 67 so financial progress will be the same because we have only you know achieved uh, uh, 67 percent of finance we have cash in so this is only the uh, till the reporting month we have only 67 percent so target for the reporting month. so the reporting month suppose we are reporting in this month then now what is your target for this month 10 percent and target for the next month so it depends upon your you know work breakdown so it depends on your card so how much you have targeted for the next month how much you are going to achieve this much 10 percent 15 percent 20 percent depends upon you so you can write it then come physical progress so here we have 88 percent suppose physical percent so physical per, per physical progress means the actual work has been completed on sales as you can see as you can physically you know see that uh, suppose you have call 100 columns but we have casted all the 100, 100 columns but the payment has been only 50 columns so the progress of column would be uh, 100 percent in the case of physical progress but in the financial progress it would be 50 percent so so the case has been here is the same so we have financial progress 67 percent but we have 88 percent physical progress so we have due to have the payment from the consultants progress actually in the financial progress as from the same 67 percent still the debt we have achieved only 67 percent financially we have cash in and we have you know physical progress we have so far completed the 88 percent then comes this is overall you can see the summary then it is contract data annotation suppose uh, in this project we have you know seven hospital buildings in one package this is the package in which we have seven seven numbers of hospital buildings uh, you know at a different locations we have in, we have so i have you know uh, incorporated in a, in a single page so we have to show the overall progress so i have uh, project wise site wise i have included so each has you know different values and total making a total contract value so as you can present the data summary of cost you can write in contractor name then summary then you can from the BOK you can you know uh, divide the works like we have civil works electrical works sanitary works firefighting works or so depending upon the you know BOQ item and item wise we can include the price include the price or achievement of your project side so we have some buildings taruka jor this this item this one two three four seven so each each has uh, different sets of values each has different contract values total making a uh, at last we can find the so if if you want to see the each project how much the individual project has been achieved the progress so you can find out from it that suppose uh, <clears throat> one project has achieved 91 percent another has 58 percent another has 90 percent another has 65 percent another has 89 percent 49 percent 95 percent and overall in overall package because this is the one package in the inside the package i have seven projects so overall projects progress so financial progress is 68 percent so this is how we are presented so you can get the you know from BOQ we can have the uh, civil works uh, building works how much you have you know from the and you can you, this value you can get it from your IPC interim payment survey bills so uh, to get the you know financial uh, progress you can get it from the your invoice that is co contract bill so we can uh, take the value from that and you can present from total value so suppose uh, for this project we have contract amount we have 1 crore 80 lakhs so in from 1 80 crore how much we have you know completed the works uh, from that we can get the financial progress so 91 50 years so this is this is how we can present it you know my <coughs> monthly progress reports for so the each each project's progress financial progress and then comes physical progress in a similar way we have uh, 
we can we have a civil work super structure side development finishing works electrical work so so each item has been you know divided into category and we have uh, you know assume some weightage of work percentage weightage suppose uh, civil works uh, you know foundation works 25 percent super structure 35 percent side development 7 percent finishing works 10 percent electric walls also we have considered 10 percent sanitary 7 percent so firefighting 7 uh, 1 percent uh, uh, 5 percent so total weightage of project is 100 percent so and so far we have divided in item wise uh, 25 35 and in a similar way this is our weighted assumption and then from that from, from you know each project we have considered like uh, suppose we have foundation work how much work physically how much we have completed suppose we have completed 25 percent 25 percent super strategy completed 35 percent for this project for this project 25 percent 25 percent it may be very it may be Suppose I have not complete 25, this is only 25, some uh, plinth beam is remaining or anything is remaining for the foundation part. So you can, uh, in a, out of 25, you can include or you can input as per the in the site progress, you can see on the sites, you can ask your engineer, site engineers, how much is the progress. So you can, you know, get the data from the sites and you can uh, uh, put in a similar way. So for if you have only one project, that's okay. You can only this one. You don't need to go. You don't require all this. If you if you have three four sites in one package, then you have you want to see, you know, individual projects. How is the individual project progress is going on? So you can put all those data in this format or in this way. So I already told you I have seven projects in one package. So I want to know. Uh, each project how is this project is going on whether one which project is lacking which project is behind the schedule which project is ahead the schedule so you can find you can understand from here so after that of uh, overall progress you can divide you know, take a sum of all progress and divide by seven you can get overall progress again in the uh, out of hundreds we have uh, you know 87 percent or you can also 25 so you will get 18 percent from here only from from uh, this space we can you know link your project my project to the summary sheets 88 percent so this is this is done physical progress done so this is simple physical progress if you have not understood please you can comment so i can help you with this so physical progress uh, uh, understand in this way like uh, whatever we see in a, in a physical physically on a size this is the physical progress financial progress how much whatever you have the work completed we have earned the money we have get the money from your client that is the financial progress but some some case what happens you might have completed your works but your your payment is still pending so it uh, there will be a financial progress less and physical progress will be more so this is how the most important thing is financial curve financial s curve you know the construction s curve in a similar way you can have the you know quarter for, for the for the period of your duration for, you have to plot uh, the project uh, to the total duration suppose you have two two years three years or one year so you can plot it in a same way s curve so second quarter third quarter first quarter 23 third fourth so you can divide it and you can target percentage target suppose we are uh, i'm supposed to have progress 60 six percent in second quarter then third quarter seven percent how much so this is your assumption this is your plan it may be hundred percent but actual progress what we see we had planned for six percent but i have achieved only five percent financial core so this will uh, this will again come from your ipc interim payment certificates you know? Suppose you have a plan for six percent, but you total out of your suppose you have twenty crore projects, and then out of uh, twenty crore we have only achieved five percent, so we can add five percent for second quarter. Then third quarter you, you can make a quarter of three months or three three months, three months January February March three three months three four that twelve. So in a similar way in a three months how much uh, you have achieved so you can import here. And if you are you answer you are submitting every month. Hmm, so in this month, how much you have achieved? One percent, two percent, three percent. Then you can write. 
in a similar way in a uh, fourth part also this is the actual data this is your in a target this is your assumption you, you you plan for six percent but you actual insight after after one month you you go to the schedule you go to the you know any any project manual software you're using so you need to update or you see whether how much you have achieved how much you have earned so far so you can you know write from there from or we can write it from interim payment certificate or bill then this is the cumulative cumulative target will be the same as you know the cumulative six plus so this is your cumulative of target then actual of target so you know in a similar way you can achieve you can plot in a graph so s curve this is your target line this is your target so you see as a s curve so name itself indicates s curve this is the target but i am going this way this is this way because i am not able to achieve what i have planned for so this is the s curve this is the financial s curve so this is all the this is all the data has been taken from the you know interim payment certificates so of each bill from each bill you know we calculate how much you have how much the percentage we have achieved so far so from that you can you know divide into a three quarters or three months suppose uh, in this month we have achieved two percent so then you can will write if you are in a third quarter or third quarter in the beginning of third quarter in the first month of third quarter then we will write only two percent and again in the second month of third quarter two percent two plus two four percent even in the third uh, third quarter third month of third quarter then six the total six percent should be your target this one and right. so this is very simple you can you know you can see or you can first understand the concept and then you can go through these videos and you can prepare if you have any difficulties if you do not understand then you can assess this is the finance in a similar way in a similar way, you can have a, a physical s curve same from the data you can take suppose you have target 8% 7% 7% 7% 7% 15% 20% whatever you 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 are you plan for but actually you achieve 12% 6% 8% in a similar way similar physical progress as you can target physical percent you can compare so while uh, you know making actual progress you can compare from your last month from this month then you can understand then you can have your physical progress so this is this is a target you can see and this is achievement so physical is curve so that's all and you can uh, and uh, uh, th that's all you have to show it to the monthly progress repairs also you can have you know uh, labor on sites material on sites and photographs you can present so i have prepared in uh, Mm, what you say that's a ms word or you can have in you know, a excel format also so you can also include what you, what all the data your consultant your client required you can also require you can also input your you know material in a stock and you know staff on such equipments anything but this this whatever i have shown this is the must in monthly progress reports you have to present mainly yes curve you might be familiar with the s curve financial s curve physical s curve so you can um, take overall idea from this and all the remainings you can have you know staff members available laborers manpower those are al already uh, you know present in the daily site reports also you can have in a monthly progress reports so you know you know labor availability you know manpower available on site and um, anything any if anything required from your consultant if they wants to present uh, manpower material stock equipment then you can prepare excel sheet and you can have all those things in present so thanks for this videos and i hope you like these videos so if you have any problem if you do not understand please message me or please do like share and subscribe my channel thanks for watching my videos see you in the next videos